Welcome back everyone, Phoenix3 here, and I wanted to talk about something that was recently brought to my attention, and that is in one specific uh, arcade location in Japan, Pokemon Tournament will be being removed from their arcade because of its lack of popularity. It's basically going in and saying that the machine isn't profitable, it's not meeting the benchmarks that they were hoping that it did get. So they're going to be removing the machines from the arcade. Now, the thing that um, kind of sucks about this is I kind of feared that something like this would happen. And it's, it's for the reasons that I've been saying before. But before I get into those reasons, I just want to say that this here is in one specific um, arcade location and that the game is still extremely popular in a lot of other arcades the game is making money for these arcades and people are in fact playing it's just this one location that's not doing them any any work now the uh, thing that I was worried about before is that you know this is a Pokemon fighting game and it's not Tekken it's not Street Fighters or anything like that where you could kind of just jump into the game and play not really caring you know about the roster in the game for example but in a Pokemon game you got a lot of people who want to see their favorites in this game and if their favorites aren't in this game they're simply not going to invest any money in it and that's kind of the downfall that I see for this game you know when I see the roster now the roster simply isn't interest, in, interesting to me at all you know, we already got two Pikachus and all this other stuff. I'm not saying that's the reason it's failing, but, you know, just as a fan of Pokemon myself, and from what I like in Pokemon games, you know, if there is content in the game that I don't like in a Pokemon game, I simply won't buy it. And that's one less person they sold to. You know, a game like this, a lot of people have been wanting for like 14 years, you know, a very long time. People wanted this game because they wanted to play their favorites in 3D and have them fight each other in an anime-ish type, type style. But when these people don't get to play as their favorite Pokemon, they feel that uh, the game is against them, and if they feel the game is against them, then they're simply just not going to buy the game at all. And I would hate to see that uh, be, be the fate of this game, because I feel Pokemon is a, uh, a special... IP that you have to take very specific steps with in order to make the game successful. It's not like the spin-off games where you know not all the Pokemon are in the game and you kind of won't care. You know, in some cases I do care, especially if it's the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series. If I can't use my favorites in that game, then I won't buy it. Just because of the relationship I want to try to build with those characters. But, you know, in, in this game, it's kind of like in real life. You walk up to somebody and be like, man, you know, my Charizard could totally beat your uh, Alakazam or something. And this other guy's like, no, nah, your Charizard is like crap compared to my Alakazam, you know. I got this one combo with Alakazam, and you won't be able to get past it. And, you know, there's all, there's all this kind of smack talk and stuff like that but you know you, you won't see that in this game if for example that Alakazam isn't in there because somebody whose Alakazam is their favorite Pokemon and they absolutely love fighting games and they see the final roster and Alakazam's not in it then they're simply just not going to buy the game and that's um, the same way for a lot of Pokemon players including myself you know if none of my favorites in the game I'm not going to buy it and that's simply one less person that bought the game now, if you take that and multiply it by the amount of people who are buying the game, you simply lose out on sales from thousands of people. And having thousands of people not buy your game when they are themselves Pokemon fans for a reason that they had no control over, then you're really not giving the series the respect it deserves. Now, I do know it's impossible to make this game have every single Pokemon in it you know that's not what the community is asking the community is asking hey you know make the roster more interesting because I am looking on forums every day for 
about uh, any kind of thing, a poking tournament, see what people are talking about. And things that interest me the most are people are talking about the roster. And I'm seeing a lot of uh, posts about Pokemon that people want. Um, some people are saying things like they want to see the uh, more kaiju-like Pokemon in the roster. Uh, Pokemon like Nidoking, King, Nidal Queen, you know, the big monsters. So you got some people wanting to see them. I've seen some posts where people are wanting some of the uh, the snake Pokemon in the game. We got the troll posts like, you know, well, if Magikarp's not playable, then I'm not buying it. You know, obviously Magikarp's not going to be playable. And that's just something that I wouldn't even want in a fighting game. You know, I don't want any joke characters in this game. I'm um, seeing posts where people are, in fact, wanting uh, bird Pokemon in this game. So I'm clearly not the only one here. And I'm I'm seeing a lot a lot of different posts. There's even some people saying, you know, if Hitmonchan is not in the game, they're not buying it. I simply just don't think Hitmonchan is an interesting enough Pokemon to put in the game. After thinking about it, you know, what does Hitmonchan offer that you know something like Machamp or Lucario don't? And that's just punches. You know, we already got Pokemon that do punches. You know, let's get some more Pokemon in the game that do other things. And I'm reading these uh, threads. And I'm looking at it and saying to myself, you know, this is potentially a person that won't buy this game. Because the Pokemon that he wants in the game, which is um, Arbok, for example, has a good chance of not making it in. And that's just because they established this kind of uh, thing that they wanted. And that's, you know, if a Pokemon can't punch and kick, then they're simply not going to look at it. And that just makes a Pokemon game boring. When you just have one specific type. Yeah, I know they said the game isn't going to be exclusively fighting types. But, you know, that's not what most of us meant by, you know, fighting types or humanoids. You know, when the entire roster of the game is humanoid Pokemon. When in an actual Pokemon battle, there are hardly any humanoids used in a battle. You kind of get this, um, this thing where... They want to make the game a certain way, and the fans want this game made another way. And the fans aren't getting what they want. And the fans aren't going to get what they want, then the fans aren't going to buy the game. And if the fans aren't buying the game, then that's a potential IP that got ruined because they chose to not listen to the fans. Um, the post here actually goes on and says that they will be trying, or not that they will be trying, but they think that this game will be more popular in the uh, western states or in the western world in general and I, I find that interesting because I know people say otherwise but I haven't seen any western influence on this game at all all the locations in the game are extremely Japanese even for a Pokemon game you know that's the thing I liked about the Pokemon world is that the the Pokemon world wasn't exactly based on any kind of location it was kind of just doing its own thing. Of course, it is a Japanese series, and they're going to have some Japanese things in their series. But, like, if you look at a lot of the towns in uh, Pokemon Tournament, you know, it, it comes across as being extremely um, Asian-inspired. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but when you're making a game that will be released worldwide, you kind of want to include kind of a neutral stance or something more, I guess, inspired in terms of location, since this is Pokemon. But recently, they've been making Pokemon games that kind of take real locations in the world and kind of build on them. So, I mean, it's whatever. I don't care. It's all um, cosmetic anyway. But I haven't really been seeing any kind of um, Western influence on the game. You know, every time I see something, it's always from Japan or uh, Korea, where all the news is coming from. You know, they're not releasing any news to us in uh, Japanese or in English. Um, I'm sorry for that. But I had to subscribe to Bando Namkai's Japanese YouTube just so I can keep up with updates on this game. And, you know, that's kind of not fair because a lot of us are wanting stuff in this game too and we aren't getting anything like that as well so basically what kind of needs to happen here is and I'll say it again that I feel this isn't the reason the uh, series is not
doing well because it probably isn't but I suspect the reason this is kind of happening is because one the game's been out for about three months now and we haven't been getting any new news for that we haven't really gotten any new characters the most recent character that we got was a Pikachu another Pikachu and it's to my knowledge that the uh, people from South Korea voted to have this Pikachu in the game but I have yet to hear anything about any Western um, influence in the game uh, people say well Gengar is popular in America but where exactly isn't Gengar popular at you know I don't want to see anything like that I want to see some actual results you know this is what the Americas are saying this is what you know this part of the world is saying this is what this other part of the world is saying and then that's kind of what I want to see for this game and I'm not seeing any of that so I'm um I'm worried and a lot of people at least here in the um, in the West are definitely losing hype and I don't know what I can do to try to restore this hype to get people back in the game because if the information is not coming out then I don't know what to do and seeing that you know Pokemon Tournament is being removed from one arcade because people aren't playing it that's worrying to me because I, I kind of see this like a um, an outbreak um, epidemic type of thing you know sure it starts in one location but if you don't you know kill the disease in that one location and it spreads and it becomes a worldwide thing and we have a problem you know same here at Pokemon Tournament yes this is an isolated um, case in one specific arcade but let's say this actually just spread to other arcades and they remove the game because people aren't playing it anymore and then at some point the Pokemon company or Bandai Namco is gonna have to make some decisions okay is it good to port this game to the Wii U because we all know the Wii U isn't doing well right now and the only thing that's probably keeping it afloat are the hardcore Super Smash Brothers fans because I mean let's just be real and talk about that for a sec but if we only have one specific group of players who own a system for one specific game and they aren't playing anything else you know what exactly is the future of Pokemon tournament here I want to see this game succeed I've been waiting a long time for a Pokemon uh, fighting game but I personally feel they aren't handling it with the respect that a Pokemon fighting game deserves and a lot of people feel the exact same way too like the, the comments about this game that I'm reading on certain forms some of those things are like harsh and I feel they are entitled to feel that way because you know when I look at this game I see what it could be versus what I know it probably will turn up turn out as and that's simply not healthy for a for um, a fighting game especially if it's a Pokemon based fighting game which I, I keep saying is you know you gotta you gotta really respect the fans when you're making something like this you know a lot of the characters in the roster are Pokemon I would I would have put in and I personally think Pikachu had to be in the game as part of the contract for this game but I mean we've already got a second Pikachu the game pretty much turned into a popularity contest where if you're not in the absolute top 10 not even top 10 but like top five favorites and you're not going to be in the game you know I would much rather have not seen Lucario in the game I would much rather not have seen um, Charizard in the game I would have preferred to not see Pikachu in the game but you know the whole contract thing you know it had to be in the game I would um, much rather not have seen Blaziken and would have enjoyed Typhlosion a whole lot more I really don't have any care for Typhlosion but you know there are a lot of people in the game that wanted Typhlosion to be in the game and you know seeing that we already have two starters Charizard and Blaziken you know adding a third fire starter to the game might actually just kill people's expectations for it you know they have the option to put Halucha in the game which is a Pokemon that is surprisingly popular here in the West but it gets passed up for another Pikachu 
which pretty much, you know, confirms to me that they're not valuing any of the input from the West because, you know, South Korea is wanting the, um, the masked Pikachu and we got masked Pikachu over Hall Lucha. I personally want Pidgeot in this game. You guys already know that. A lot of other people want just bird Pokemon in general in this game and we have yet to see one. Suicune is the only Pokemon of its type or of its kind in this game as a quadruped, but we haven't gotten any others since um, they revealed Suicune. And I don't know, it's just like, if it feels like to me the direction that this game is going, going in is simply not Pokemon-like. And I think the fans are feeling that. And if this here does blow up, it will be because of the Asian community. And I would hate to see that happen to this game because I really want this game. I plan on buying it on release if either uh, Vaporeon or Pidgeot make the uh, final console release roster. I'll probably buy two or three copies of it if both of them make it in as playable. But if none of them make it in, it's not going to be high on my list to buy. I'll probably pick up some of the other games that are coming out around that time. Which I would hate to do. Like, I would obviously buy Pokemon Tournament over Tekken 7. But if that happens, I'll definitely pick up Tekken 7 first. And then consider it, see where the game goes. Because, you know, Pokemon is one of those games for me and a lot of other people. That if we can't play as our favorites, which is the reason that we play Pokemon then we're not going to to play it because we feel that we're not being respected as Pokemon fans. And that's the way I feel right now. You know, I feel I'm not being respected enough as a Pokemon fan. And I will show that by not buying their products, which is something I don't want to do. Because I, I love giving Pokemon my money because that means I get new Pokemon content in the uh, future. And that's the kind of relationship that, you know, they have with us, you know. You buy our products, and we continue to innovate. But, you know, innovation isn't enough for me. You know, I want to play as my favorite Pokemon in a in a Pokemon game. And I love fighting games. Like, that's, like, the, my top three games that I play, you know, are fighting games. And if I can't use my favorite Pokemon in a genre of games that I, you know hold dearly to my heart you know I, I won't buy the game and I would hate for that to happen and I believe this here is the reason as to why that is happening is that their Pokemon selection in the game hasn't really you know been completely respectful towards the actual Pokemon community as a whole like I said we're not going to be able to get every Pokemon in this game we already know that we're not asking for that but what we are asking for is better representation of Pokemon being shown in the game. Why aren't there any bird Pokemon in this game yet? Ten characters in, and we don't have one. Why aren't there any more quadrupeds in this game? We've already ten Pokemon in the game, and only one represents that body type. Why don't we have any snakes in this game yet? Even if you can't put all of them in the game, why isn't Superior in the game, at the very least? People say, oh, Suicune was only in the game because Suicune has the tail ribbon where it can grab you. Where Superior and every other grass Pokemon can literally do Vine Whip. That has been shown in the anime to be used as a form of blocking, punching, and other stuff. Yet, we don't have a single grass type in this game yet. Now, I mean, wow. And the grass type is simply not a Pokemon type that I really like. Because I prefer uh, birds. I prefer uh, the water type. But, I mean, so far we've only had one water type in the game. No grass types. You know, where are our inanimate Pokemon representations? I think Aegislash has that, like, you know held down for the most part so why isn't Aegislash playable in this game yet we got some other ones like um well some other ones like a uh, Kling Kling I mean they're 
less optimal for fighting games. But I mean, this is kind of the thing you 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 have to tackle when you want to make a Pokemon fighting game. You don't look at it and be like, "Oh man, Blaziken looks cool. I wonder how we'll make that fight somebody." You know, not everybody uses a Blaziken. Not everybody uses a Machamp. Not everybody uses a Weavile. Not everybody uses a Charizard. So that these are the types of things you have to do. You gotta represent all of the uh, the Pokemon trainers. Why don't we have any uh, bug types in this game yet? I think Beedrill might want to have a chance to throw down. I would most definitely want to see Beedrill over um, Scizor, for example. Because Scizor just adds to another existing body type, which makes the game look boring. So, I think if they can solve the problem of the roster, the game will definitely pick up a lot of um, interest. Because when you look at fighting games, it pretty much comes down to the, the uh, roster selection and how um, varied it looks. Like, if you knew nothing about fighting games, which game would you go to in an arcade if you, like, for your first time playing a fighting game? Would you go to the Tekken 7 terminal? Would you go to the uh, Street Fighter V terminal? Or would you go to the Pokemon Tournament terminal? You're sitting there watching gameplay of the characters. And you're just looking, you're like, okay, well, this game looks the same as this game here. You know, none of the, none of the Tekken characters look interesting. You know, they all do the same thing for the most part. Um, none of the Street Fighter characters look interesting. They all do the same thing for the most part. But the game is a little more flashy than Tekken. And, you know, the characters are a little bit varied. They got cool um, energy projectiles and over-the-top special attacks. And they're like, you know, that might be a game I'll play. And you'll consider it, but then you walk up and see Pokemon Tournament. You see a bird fighting a dragon. You see a snake fighting a human-shaped Pokemon. You see um, this magical fairy girl in a dress fighting a mouse you see this water dog fighting a fucking a monster and you're like oh shit that looks cool so i mean like which one of these games would stand out to you as your first time playing a fighting game it would be Pokemon tournament because tekken doesn't have any birds fighting dragons Street Fighter doesn't have any water dogs fighting electric mice. You know, Pokemon has that. And that will be a really good experience of getting somebody into the fighting game genre because they see this very, very, like, varied fighting style game. And that's something that they've never seen before in a fighting game. And that's something that the fighting community as a whole has never seen in a fighting game. You know, the most crazy fighting game that I think we've seen was probably Super Smash Brothers. You know, the roster is pretty wacky, but I mean, when you compare, you know, Pokemon Tournament as a fighter to Street Fighter and Tekken or uh, Blaze Blue or Dead or Alive, it's like, you know, the characters in this game feel different. You know, no one Pokemon is going to play the same as another. And that's the strength of Pokemon as a whole is that you have the option to use what you want are you a bird trainer yes then cool we have our battle of facilities you know that will allow for your type of fighting are you a Pokemon who like or, or a trainer who like to use fish Pokemon then yeah we're not going to forget about you you know we'll just push a button and the middle of the arena will flood with water and you can use your fish Pokemon to uh, fight um, do you just like all all around type things do you have a Pokemon that needs to fight in the ground something like sand slash and yeah we've got a arena for you and that's the thing that I like about Pokemon is that it doesn't matter what type of trainer you want to be there's something there for you and when I look at Pokemon tournament it's not like that and you know a lot of different people who play Pokemon consider themselves as different trainers and when they don't feel that 
they're able to play the game that they want, you know, they won't play it because I already have an established um, battle style. I like using bird Pokemon. So on my Pokemon team, I will probably have like three or four of them just because I, I enjoy using them. Whereas, you know, my friend who is a dragon trainer, he will have his whole team consisting of dragon types or Pokemon in the uh, dragon A group like uh, Milotic. And when we see these type of games where they're just going for one very specific body um, type because it's the standard for fighting games, then you kind of kill what you could possibly have. You know, you got to take the approach that this isn't like every other fighting game. You know, this is a Pokemon game. So how do we make this feel like Pokemon? Simply having Pokemon in a game doesn't mean it will feel like Pokemon. You know, you kind of got to take more respect with the license and I kind of feel they're not doing that and if this game does fail it will be because of that reason right there and that's because they just simply haven't represented the actual fan base of Pokemon and I would hate to see the game die because of that so I want to see what you guys think about this you know in the comments below um, tell me why you think the reason that this arcade here is getting rid of their game and if it will continue to spread I hope it doesn't spread but Bandai Namco has to do something and it has to do something quick um, just so the project doesn't end up getting canceled because if the project gets canceled I'm gonna be pissed because I was really looking forward to this game um, if you guys like this video you know do leave your comments below because I like reading your comments like the video if you did like it or dislike it if you disagree with something that I said you know whatever but if you do disagree with something I said just tell me in the comments below so I can respond to it you know there's nothing like having a video disliked and you don't know the reason why it was disliked um, I'd like to have feedback so I know what I need to fix the next time that something like this happens and um, be sure to share the video with your friends post it on the Pokemon Tournament uh, Twitter page just so they can see it because, you know, us from the West, we really need to be vocal about what we want in this game. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching my videos and hope to see you all in the next one.